Hello and welcome to another episode of Dream Home Cooking. Today I have a delicious menu that is full of comfort food. I'm going to show you guys how I make my simple homemade cream of tomato soup along with these great little grilled cheese sandwich roll-ups. I also am going to make my egg salad. I call it fantastic egg salad. And for dessert, I have a really special treat. It's so easy. There's only three ingredients in it and it's called peanut butter brownie bites and they are absolutely delicious. So right now I'm going to get started on the cream of tomato soup and I, I have four tablespoons of butter, three to four tablespoons of butter that have already started to melt. So now I'm going to add to that a half a cup of chopped onion. I love uh, tomato soup and it's I know it's easy to buy the can and it's not so bad either but this is so simple to make and it's really extra delicious when you do it homemade to me when you have tomato soup it just goes hand in hand with the grilled cheese sandwich it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly you just it doesn't seem right to have one without the other so these onions are gonna saute for about six or seven minutes just until they're softened and maybe just a little browned Okay, these are perfect now. They're ready, they're a little brown, they're softened. Now I'm gonna add to this three cloves of fresh garlic that I minced. And this right here is a game changer. You can, when you throw that garlic in there with the butter and onion, it smells so great. But I don't want to have the heat on real high. I'm putting it as low as it'll go because that garlic will also burn really fast if you don't watch it. And then it's bitter and that's not good. All right, so then the next step is to add the rest of this ingredient. One, the main thing being this 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. I like the texture of it instead of just having just smooth tomato sauce. And you do, another reason you wanna make sure you have the burner on real low is because this will splatter out. Don't wear white when you're cooking this. Okay, so there's your 28 ounce can of tomatoes, crushed tomatoes. Then I have a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper in this little cup. And then my little key secret ingredient is two tablespoons of brown sugar, just to sweeten it up a little bit. And this is a nice thick soup. It doesn't make a huge pot. It serves about six, um, about six people. But you can always double it or triple it if you wanna make it for a big crowd. Okay, and then I also have a cup of chicken broth. I'm just gonna add that. This gives it another layer of flavor. And then, to me, the best part, which is why I call it homemade cream of tomato, is this isn't cream, it's actually pet milk. It's the evaporated milk that you find, not, not the condensed milk, but the pet milk. And you wanna have use a cup of it. And this is why you don't want to bring the soup to a boil because you don't want this to scald, this evaporated milk. So what I do is just keep it on low and just simmer it for 30 minutes to an hour, or even longer than that, as long as you keep it on real low. And then all these flavors marry together and it's absolutely delicious. And sometimes I will put some basil in it. I think today I kind of feel like that. So I just have about a half a teaspoon here of the dried basil and I'm just gonna crush it with my fingertips in there. And that just gives it a nice little flavor. And sometimes I like to just put a dollop of sour cream on top when I serve it. Okay, so the soup is done, it just has to simmer. So I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer. And when we come back, I'm going to show you guys how I make the fantastic egg salad. In choosing a contractor, in today's market, you know, finding someone that is going to take care of you and make sure that you're happy with your product, with the quality. It's not an easy task today. The most important thing to me is doing what you say you can do, taking care of the customer, installing a, a, a product that is superior. My motto is call the lady with a team you can trust, and I feel confident that we are a team that you can trust. 
My father started this business in 1977. The people that work for us is part of what sets us apart. All of our employees have experience. All of our plumbers have been with us for 10 years or greater. Our motto at Dean and Son is quality and service. We're gonna do quality work. We don't leave people hanging. We're there when we're supposed to be. We're done when we're supposed to be. Living up to what you sell and service them after they pay you, that's where your integrity in the plumbing business comes. Dean and Son Plumbing Company, call today at 518-9780. When we came to looking for a cabinet company and a uh, manufacturer to use and with Wellborn being the selection, Wellborn has a good foundation within the company and the folks that run their company. And when you have a good foundation, things typically follow suit with that and things will, will stay steady. Their values, I feel like are on a solid foundation. I feel like their true intent is to build a product that will be a lasting product. And you're going to love what you see. Wellborn Cabinets, the essence of cabinetry at Woodland Homes of Huntsville. Hey guys, come on in. Hey Troy. Yeah, let me show you around. Wow. You know, as the Acme Brick spokesperson, I get paid in brick. All the brick I want. Solid. What? Too much? To get Acme Brick quality, look for the Acme name. And here's the guest room. Hope you like a firm mattress. Okay, we're back and now I've got all the ingredients to make this fantastic egg salad. I have this little gadget, this little egg slicer that I use instead of chopping the egg with a knife. Now if you prefer your egg to be really finely chopped, certainly use a knife. But what I do, I take this little gadget and go that way and then I take the egg and just turn it that way and then voila. I, I love little kitchen gadgets like this. Okay, so. I'm gonna chop this last one. Now what I like to do before I put the eggs in, I like to get the uh, sauce, so to speak, mixed up. So what I have here are three tablespoons of mayo, and I like to use Hellman's. And then I have a tablespoon of sour cream, just so it's not so mayonnaise-y. This kind of helps to cut that. Then I have a teaspoon each of salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of Cajun seasoning. So that is that. Then I like to put a teaspoon of vinegar, just white vinegar, along with a tablespoon of white sugar. That just gives it just a little hint of sweetness. And then you wanna stir that together. And I like to use a fork because it's easier to get all the ingredients mixed in or a whisk. And then I have a teaspoon of yellow mustard that I like to put in there. Then I like to add a little dash of Worcestershire and you don't have to do that but just about a teaspoon. I, I don't know why my dogs are whining like they are today but if you hear that in the background that's what it is. Then I like to add a little dash of hot sauce that's for Mike because he loves things a little heated. And then the best part is a half a cup of pickle relish, and this isn't just any pickle relish, it's my favorite Wickles Pickles relish. Or you can just buy the pickles and chop them. But this is just an extra, extra ease to have it already chopped up. And then I have eight eggs, of course, that you saw me chop up. And when you guys boil eggs, my mother-in-law taught me this trick. You take your eggs, your cold eggs, put them in the water, turn it on, bring it to a boil. As soon as the water starts to boil, turn your burner off, keep the, cover it with a lid, then let them sit for exactly 12 minutes, pour a little tablespoon of vinegar in there and rinse them with cold water and I promise they will be very easy to peel. Okay, so I like these little flexible cutting boards because I can just bend it and get all this egg in here without making a mess. Okay, so then, you just stir these eggs and they'll break down a little bit more with this fork as I stir it. And Because you want to be careful about not putting too much mayo in your egg salad because then it's too runny. I think this is just right. And you might want to taste it and add a little more salt and pepper if you like. And that's it. And then I like to refrigerate it for at least an hour before I serve it. Actually, I like it best the next day. 
And this is wonderful to make egg salad sandwiches with or just to have it on a, a, you know, a scoop on a piece of lettuce or with sliced tomato. I love it for breakfast. Okay, so this is done and I'm gonna get it in the fridge. And when we come back, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this wonderful, simple little dessert. Since 1983, individuals and businesses in Alabama have relied on Wolf, Jones, Wolf, Hancock, Daniel, and South for their legal representation. Our experienced attorneys offer high quality legal counsel in commercial law, real estate, and personal injury litigation. So if you need an attorney, hire the best attorney you can. Call the experienced North Alabama attorneys at Wolf, Jones, Wolf, Hancock, Daniel, and South to arrange your initial consultation because we're dedicated to setting the standard for legal services. If you're looking to remodel or build your dream home, it all starts at the Dream Studio by Woodland Homes. At Woodland Homes Dream Studio, you'll work with seasoned professionals dedicated to providing you with the very best. Whether you're starting from scratch or remodeling, and with thousands of selections to choose from, the Dream Studio offers everything you need at the absolute highest quality, all under one roof. The Dream Studio by Woodland Homes. Live your dream. Call 830-9000 today. Choosing an appliance can be complicated these days. That's why at Bob Wallace Appliance, we start by asking questions like an occasional cook or a serious chef, something just for you or an army, once a week or once a day. You see, it's not just what we know about appliances, it's what we know about you. Bob Wallace Appliance, locally owned and operated for more than 35 years. Online at BobWallaceAppliance.com. Hey guys, I wanted to let y'all know about a year ago, me and Bruce Stone started a new company called Stonewood Homes. And Stonewood is a little different business plan than Woodland Homes because Stonewood is a scattered lot home builder, which means if you have a lot and you're looking for a builder, Stonewood is the answer. So if you own a home site or you're looking at building a custom home, give us a call at 830-9000 and let's start building. Okay, so now I've got all of our dessert stuff out, and these are little mini peanut butter brownie bites that are absolutely delicious, and they're really easy to make. And what you wanna do is get a 24 count uh, little mini muffin tin, and then the papers. And I put the papers down in there, and for extra insurance, I sprayed them with cooking spray just so they don't stick. And so for this recipe, all you need is the old fashioned chocolate chip cookie dough in the roll, they still make those, um, Reese peanut butter cups, the little miniature ones, unwrapped of course, thanks to my producer, he unwrapped all those for me, and um, then brownie batter, and that's just Duncan Hines or Betty Crocker or whatever your favorite brownie mix is, just the box kind and just follow the directions on the back. And so now we're ready to assemble. So what you wanna do is take the cookie dough, you take about a teaspoon and you want to just roll it in a ball and just place it down in the little muffin tin. That way, when you put the peanut butter cup over the top, you can just kinda of help squish it down in there. And the cookie dough is your base. I mean, these are all my favorite three things rolled up into one, makes a great little dessert. And then you just wanna take a tablespoon or maybe a little less of the brownie batter and just carefully spoon it just a little over the top. And then they bake up in about 15 to 18 minutes. You just wanna watch them, depending upon your oven, and they are delicious. But as I am doing this and getting the rest of these in here, I wanted to tell you guys about our community this week. It is the Preserve on Green Mountain. And if you haven't been up on Green Mountain to see this beautiful new community, you've got to go and take a look. It is one of the rare jewels in Huntsville where it's completely wooded. The lots are absolutely just spectacular with all the trees and you know, you're up here on the beautiful mountain. So there is some activity going on in there, lots of activity. Right now it's just getting started, but it is worth a drive to come up here and take a look. It's right near, right next to the Madison County Nature Trail, which is a great place to go, take a hike, have a picnic. 
and of course there's great schools for those who live on Green Mountain very near to grocery stores fantastic restaurants just a great great area of town so i would encourage you guys to take a drive up to green mountain look at the preserve you can also look at inspiration and the beautiful model home in that community as well so i'm finishing up these little peanut butter bites and after you press the Reese cup down into the cookie dough at the bottom then you want to take you know a little tablespoon of brownie mix it takes a little bit of concentration so you don't make a mess and you really don't need a whole whole lot I overflowed the first one so just a little less than a tablespoon really okay I've got this last one and now I'm going to get it in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 18 minutes and just a side note you will have extra brownie batter left so you can either double your recipe with these or just make a small little pan of brownies. That's what I like to do. So I'm gonna get these in the oven, get it cleaned up, and then I'm gonna show you guys how I make my little grilled cheese rollovers. Okay, so our peanut butter bites are in the oven. The soup smells delicious. The egg salad is in the fridge, kind of marinating. And now I wanna show you guys how I make these little grilled cheese roll-ups is what I call them. So I've got about four pats of butter in my black skillet. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it way down because I don't need that right now. But you wanna take a rolling pin and just kind of flatten the bread out a little bit more. And I cut the crust off just with a bread knife. Just, all right, so you just roll out the little piece of bread. After you cut the crust off, squirt just about a half a teaspoon of mayo. And you can certainly leave that part out if you would like to. And then you just put your cheese in there. I tell you what else is good too is pimento cheese spread on here and rolled up. It's delicious. I love pimento grilled cheese sandwiches too. Okay, so I've got all these rolled up and then you just want to place them into your melted butter on medium high and you just kind of keep flipping them or rolling them until they're toasty on all sides and they are delicious. Okay, so I'm gonna finish getting these toasted up on each side, and when we come back, I will have Mike here. He'll tell you more about the preserve, and we will eat all this delicious food. When you select Waldy Flooring's hardwood, you don't just enhance your home, you transform it. With hundreds of beautiful, durable, hand-selected varieties that come with up to a 50-year warranty, you can count on unsurpassed beauty and proven durability that's guaranteed to stand the test of time. When you want the best flooring for your home, come to Woldy Flooring in Madison. WoldyFlooring.com, 256-325-8453. Mike, can you believe it's been 20 years? No, it's actually been amazing and time has flown by. But you know, 20 years ago when we started this company, it was all about serving our customers. And today we have built over 2,200 homes and that's what's amazing. And with an amazing team of people. And that's why our customers love us so much because they love our whole Woodland family. Exactly. And thank you for the past 20 years and we look forward to the next 20 years as your local builder. So today we're at the Preserve at Inspiration and the Preserve came about as a result of me looking for something on the mountain where I could deliver a, a product for uh, starting at the $300,000 price point. So we've been under construction in here now for a little less than a year and thus far we've probably built about 15, 16 different homes in here. So what is unique about the preserve is the fact that you can purchase a, a, a beautiful wooded home on a gorgeous wooded lot surrounded by trees and just to the north of us, our neighbor is the Madison County Nature Trail. So you can come home in the afternoon, you can walk down our sidewalk systems, you can have a pedestrian access, walk right over to the Nature Trail and enjoy a beautiful facility and a lake that is your next door neighbor. So, you know, what, what, what better next door neighbor can you have than a, uh, a nature park? What makes uh, the preserve so unique to anything in Huntsville is the fact that we have the large wooded home sites, 
homes starting right at 300,000. You're right next to the Madison County Nature Trail. You're a member of the lodge, which will include a fitness center, swimming pool, Olympic size swimming pool, tennis courts, and uh, a recreational room. So all of that is part of this master plan community up on top of Green Mountain that we're developing. But the key thing is, is the school systems. Uh, we are located in Southeast Huntsville. Uh, most of the land has already been developed. Uh, so what you're gonna find in the preserve is you're gonna find a brand new school system with the brand new Grissom High School. So the preserve has got it all. I mean, it's got privacy. Um, if you like, you know, walking around and, and seeing wildlife, you're liable to see any kind of different wildlife. Uh, the deer uh, up here on top of the mountain, uh, I basically see deer up here on, on a daily basis. But, uh, but this community is an affordable community located in Southeast Huntsville to where you can buy a beautiful full brick home, quality construction on a half acre wooded lot. You simply just cannot find that anywhere else in Huntsville. And so we would just love for you to be able to come up. We have a model open at the preserve seven days a week. We're located up on Green Mountain. Uh, if you want specific uh, instructions, you can log on to our website, woodlandhomes.com, uh, or you can give us a call at 256-830-9000. Uh, but if you are looking for a new home, and if you have a home currently, we would love to talk to you about buying a new home, and we'd love to be able to make it simple and easy for you and talk to you about trading your old home in for a new home. So for information, come see us or give us a call at 830-9000. We'd love to see you up in the neighborhood. Y'all come see us. All right, we're back and I have got Mike with me in the kitchen. Hungry as so, always. <laughs> no, always hungry. So yep. these are the little roll up grilled cheese that I did the other night. Yeah. They're great, they're crunchy like you like them. And egg salad, some creamy homemade tomato soup and awesome. the little desserts that are just killing us, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new year, girl. <laughs> Whew, I mean, we have eat, I, I've been testing recipes and I ate my share of these <laughs> the other day. But yeah, not, anyway. not, not good for my diet program. But, no, uh, but they are good. But they, are they? Good. <laughs> they are good. They are good. Sometimes you have that. to cheat a little bit. So I was telling our viewers about the preserve on yep. Green Mountain and just, I think that is such a jewel of a community. It, here's like what it inspiration. is. <clears throat> it's a boom town. Yeah. <laughs> well, boom, I mean, I mean be mountain. patient when you're going through the community because there is a tremendous amount of construction. Yeah. But, but the reason that is, is because we're just offering a tremendous amount of value. Yeah. Uh, you know, we started uh, Inspiration, which is right down the street. Mm -hmm. And Inspiration is, is pretty much starts in the $400,000 price range. But there was such a market in that $300,000 price point in uh, the Grissom school system yes. and uh, and on a wooded home site. Right. And so when we launched this community, oh, back uh, nine months ago and started building homes in there, I mean, this really, really uh, exploded because people want to, they, 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 they see the value in the preserve. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of really neat things that is, uh, going on with the preserve that is, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they probably don't know about it, but we were able to secure a piece of property just to the south of the Madison County Nature Trail. So people get home in the afternoon and they take a pedestrian access over to uh, the Nature Trail. Yeah. And, you know, they spend, you know, an hour over there walking uh, around the lake. And Such it's, a great place. yeah, and that's your neighbor. Yes, you know, that, exactly. that is your neighbor. Neighbor, and uh, so you've got you know got you've got that beautiful built-in amenity that's mm -hmm. right next door to you with the Madison County Nature Trail, and if y'all have not been up on Green Mountain to to come to the Nature Trail. Do a picnic and, and yeah. pack your lunch. Come up. There's plenty of picnic tables up there, and just spend a couple hours. Oh, I mean, I it's agree. just 
Yeah. And I promise you, once you leave and you go down the mountain, you will feel a whole lot better because there's something about <laughs> living on Green Mountain that just yeah. makes people feel a lot better. I guess it's the... It's a little the, cooler. The, the air feels the, crisper. The, 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 out, the high altitude, um, yeah. you know, makes... Uh, you know, it's a good thing. It's a, it's a quality. It's a quality of life. One thing, too, I didn't even mention um, about the preserve was it, they also have access to our beautiful sure lodge. Yeah. with the pool and the workout room and a great party facility and yes. and, and you've done such a great job with adding all those sidewalks. I mean, right. that is awesome for people who love to walk or bike, yeah. you know, because well, uh, that South Shawty, you don't really want to walk on that road. You, so. you don't, but it's, you know, it, it's all part of the master plan that we uh, have created up mm -hmm. here on the mountain. And, you know, now that the lodge is finished and, right. and not only that is we're working right now with the land trust to give them access in order for our property to the south of the of the uh, of the preserve mm -hmm. um, to have access to the um, uh, the land trust property and there is another nature trail that goes off the side of the mountain there so wow. the long term goal is basically tons of walking paths tons of sidewalks and that is just nothing more than you know uh, promotes a quality of life and, and sure. an active lifestyle and and you know whether if you want to go and, and jog around the nature trail or whether if you want to ride your bikes down the sidewalks or play tennis or play basketball or work out in the gym right. or swim in the olympic size swimming pool or go hiking on the mm -hmm. on the uh, um, on the land trust trails the preserve and inspiration it has everything yep absolutely and, uh, and i love that the kids can get on their bikes ride down there play basketball together and it's safe they can have their little sidewalk path yeah so. they can do it and uh but anyway if y'all have not visited green mountain uh lately uh, I, I invite you out to to come out we have two models open uh, we have the inspiration model that's open at inspiration and then also we have the preserve model that's open and we are open seven days a week and uh, our prices uh, are starting in the three hundred thousand dollars at the preserve so they're they're beautiful homes on beautiful wooded lots and it's just a it's just a great community it's so a great place so for more information on melissa's recipes yep, you can log on to woodlandhomes.com or find us on facebook dream home cooking with woodland homes as well as woodland homes yep. page and we always want to thank our sponsors. Thank our sponsors. And if you're interested in a new home, we've got a trade-in program uh, to where we can make it simple and easy for you. Uh, but the first thing to do is just give us a call, 830-9000, or come out and see us at any one of our model homes that's open seven days a week. So we'll see you in the community. Let's see. All right, let's see.